What a heck of a game. Um, just really want to congratulate and uh, commend Marquette coming in here. Those kids were unfazed, played it just like I thought they would. Uh, They're well coached um, team, five seniors, uh, all on the same page and everything they did. Played extremely hard. I, I can't tell you the last time I've had a team give up 21 fast break points, much less 21 fast break points and win. Well, I think that's got to be some kind of record to win a game and give up 21 fast break points. Um, knew they were going to push it, but obviously I did a really poor job this week emphasizing that to our players. And, uh, boy, those kids um, really played well. And, again, I think they're, that's why they're the Big East champions. And it was a tremendous game. Uh, proud of us for finding a way on well, not our best night. Coming off of a game, I sat in here yesterday and told you all what my fears were, what I was concerned about, and uh, sure enough, the ones that carried us on Sunday went two for seven, three for eight, and four for 13 tonight and had quite a few turnovers, and, and that's going to happen sometimes. So somebody else has to step up. And Real 29 and 12 tonight, I mean, that's just an unbelievable number for a 5'10 kid. She was going to think she's going to want to say she's six feet and maybe in some higher tennis shoes, but just what a tremendous effort by her. And then T goes for another double-double, 24 and 18. And, um, boy, they were special. Jasmine had 13 assists tonight, um, which is a career high for her. And, uh, again, finding a way on not your best night, I think that speaks well for our kids and our team. Again, we're I've been trying to tell you all we're a long way from being a finished product. I think tonight we had some rough edges that were really exposed and uh, gives us something to work on and focus on. Um, but, um, again, just uh, proud that we were able to find a way at the end and make enough plays at the end, get enough rebounds at the end, get enough stops at the end. Because uh, they're really good. That's a very, very talented, well-coached Marquette team. And uh, bad news is we got to go up there next year. Here, can you um, on the play where you took the pass from Jazz and you guys took the lead for good? Uh, can you uh, can you talk about your emotions and, and going? At the, what was it? The ant? Is that your your ant one? Oh, that's just you know count it. You know you got to count it. You just got to tap your finger. Is that your, is your reverse Mutombo or you know, Mutombo? You just like that? Oh, mm -mm. that's nothing. It's just yeah. me. Just count it. Yeah. Just get the free throw. <laughs> how, how much did you, did you think that that was that was the one that was going to put you guys over, over the proverbial home? Uh, I knew it was going to be a hard fought game going in, but I never let that phase me. I never, you know, they went up, and I just kept telling my team we're good, you know, telling us to you know guard the ball and do the things that we weren't doing, so you know letting them score. So I mean, I wasn't at all phased, but I mean, every shot that I got was I was confident. So six out of six of the free throw line tonight for her was. <laughs> Obviously, they as well. So, I mean, we needed every point tonight, y'all. It was, a, it was a, I'm sure there was a lot of people here who thought that was a great game and, you know, giving up 82 points, 21 fast break points. They're probably coaching and probably sleep for a few days. Unreal. Um, Marquette's coach was just in here and she was talking about how. She thought she had a good scouting report for you that you didn't really shoot many three pointers and that you usually went right. So it said, you know, whatever they thought you were going to do, you basically did the opposite. How? And she said that's kind of the sign of an all American. Like, have you, you know, diversifying your game and everything like that? Are you kind of proud of how you did, kind of everywhere tonight, outside, inside, all that stuff? Um, I feel that I can always get better. Um, I know that my shooting hasn't been the best the past couple games. So the coaches and I, we got in the gym. Today and we had to work on some things that I wasn't executing <coughs> previously, um, so uh -huh. I just have to keep getting better. Chloe, can you talk about your defense uh, on that last play uh, when they had the side out of bounds? Um, it looked like you were you were on number five, mm -hmm. and it looked like she had an uptake to try to get you off your feet. Can you just take us through that one? Oh uh, well, you know they needed a three, so I'm gonna give her in at them bar three. And she out faked, and I was gonna let her go by honestly, because uh, I think we we're out by three at that point. And she decided to you know take a dribble and, and shoot it, and she was still behind three point line, so I was just trying to be as close as I could and block it. Did you feel that you had 
not knocked her off balance, but do you think your presence had affected her enough where she was off balance and didn't get a good look? Well, yeah, a little bit. Cause I don't know. <laughs> I think so, a little, but yeah, as I said, um, I just didn't want to get off that three. Vic, I know, obviously, those two had a huge game, but you had a couple, you know, Brie Amber hit that three, Jordan Danbury had that really tough take in the last minute, Chloe has the block. I mean, how nice was it to get some kind of role players in really clutch moments to kind of help put you all over the top? Well, Brie's been, she's worked her way into that first guard off the bench, and, uh, you know, she, she's she been shooting the ball really well. Jordan did not shoot it well in the four for 13, and, Really struggled, I thought, in a lot of areas. Had four turnovers, and, but down the stretch, I just felt like she was our, you know, she was going to be one of our better options. And uh, um, obviously, you got to have kids make plays. I mean, they were building a campfire around T down there, and uh, even and we threw it in there a couple times, and she scored in the campfire. But late, you know, late in the game, they they were focused with her, and, and you, you know, I had Chloe off the floor offensively. Um, and and so somebody's got to step up and make a shot. I mean, you, you got to make it. You know, Bree hit a big three, and uh, but again, we gave up eight threes tonight, y'all. We we have, so that was one of the things on the board was guarding the line, and I just was so disappointed in our guard play defensively tonight. And, uh, but I'm I'm happy those kids were able to finish off a game when they maybe didn't have their best game. No question. And I think that's the sign of a. Good player, a good team, a tough player. You're not playing your best. You're not had your best game, but we can still count on you to go make a play down the stretch. Were, were Breeze 20 minutes more of how they were spreading the floor, and, and you wanted somebody? To she did the about. best job on number 11. I mean, we just, we, I think Johnny went and just decided and said, "Hey, she's doing a better job on 11, so let's put her on 11, and and uh, we'll see if we can't deal with the rest of them." And so. Eleven have at half. She was four for five, and she went two for six in the second half. So that's kind of what we did. We went small on her a little bit, let Andrielle guard the guard. Um, but I mean, we were all susceptible to being taken off the bounce. T got taken off the bounce, but we rotated and took a charge a couple times early. But other than that, it just seemed like it was just one of those nights where whoever had the ball last was going to win. It almost was. Coach, obviously they <clears throat> made a real concerted effort to get in transition and kind of get down the floor before T could set up on the block. Obviously you're going to see a lot more of that this year. So how do you kind of address that and rip that in practice to kind of prevent that? Yeah, you know, I think for us the film doesn't lie. So you get in the film room and you see yourself. You see yourself not sprinting as hard as you can. You see yourself not getting back. Um, you see yourself not trying to get out on three-point shooters as hard as you can. And so I think that more than anything um, is, is where I'll be with it. Uh, I think that's the, that's the great teaching tool and the great equalizer is getting in a film room. It's nobody but us and because um, the film doesn't lie. And uh, obviously they felt they picked something up on film and felt like they could do that. And, uh, you know, they do do that. That's what they do. We talked about it. I, I told them today at pregame. Hey guys, they're going to really push the ball. We need to really be, you know, focused on getting back. But it's just we, we weren't very good tonight. And again, I'll take responsibility for that. I, I did a really poor job getting my team ready for that this week. Kind of going off of that, was me doing a poor job? No, <laughs> <laughs> the whole getting out in transition thing. Was, was it more of Marquette executing what they do well, or do you think that this was sort of a blueprint on how to beat? the style of team that you've developed here? Yeah, I hope it's not a blueprint. You know, I hope it's, uh, you know, it's just a one-night deal. Um, you know, with no true five um, and, and, a, and another guard like we had last year in Victoria at four for them, that's what number 11 is. She's Victoria for them. Um, you know, it's, it can be a tough matchup. Chloe had a really tough matchup tonight um, if we put Anriel on their best player, but... We were all guilty. I mean, we, we ran off and left the ball in transition numerous times in the first half. We'd be coming down, running side by side, and we'd just run off and leave it. I mean, we just were not very good tonight in that area. And, you know, again, I think when you show them the film, they'll see, you know, this is stuff 
if, 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 if y'all looked at percentages, transition offense, transition defense is like 65% of the game. Well, why aren't we working 65% in practice on that? Well, we don't, but we do spend a lot of time on transition defense, three on two, two on one. 341, 451, uh, you know, 404 get back, 505 get back, 303 get back. I mean, every day there is at least 12 to 15 minutes of what I just mentioned to y'all. Those are all transition defensive drills. And, uh, you know, tonight, again, for whatever reason, we just were really, um, we weren't very good in transition defense again. And nobody's fault but mine. I got to coach better and teach better, obviously, because we don't understand what it takes to get back and get matched up. Tier, you guys had a one point lead and came down with the ball. And Jordan had the ball near mid court. It looked like she was almost off balance. And then she fed it to you, and then you fed it to Chloe. Can you take us through that play? And it, it almost looked like Jordan was going to fall down and travel, but she managed to keep possession. Mm -hmm. Well, I, knew, I see when she let the ball go, I knew I had to be up. And Coach always says, don't run off and leave the ball. So I knew I had to go back. And I seen that Jordan, it was two people going to Jordan. And so when she threw the ball, I looked up. I seen nobody and Mar nobody from Marquette back. And I seen Chloe, so I just kicked the ball to Chloe. She got a layup. Did Jordan just lose her balance, or did she, did she get bumped by somebody and start to fall? Or? I'm not sure. Tierra, uh, I see you're more mobile on defense now. Um, how much is... Uh, is Andrew uh, part of that? Mm -hmm. I see you're more mobile on defense now. You're not um, necessarily packing up on the center or the floor. Um, how much is Andrew part of that? Um, she's a big part of that. You know, we go back and forth. She helps me. I help her. Basically, that's what it is. And also in um, offense, you guys seem to take a lot off of the pressure from the guards. Do you guys uh, is that a decision you guys make throughout the game, throughout quarters, depending on the the person you're playing, or is that something you guys do just, um, you know, off of just instinct? Um, instinct? I guess. <laughs> I'm not really understanding the question. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand it either. That's why I was letting you in. <laughs> they just develop some really good chemistry, and they work well together. Thank as you. well in practice, so. Yeah. Good job, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. Good, <laughs> good to assist on this question. Alright, guys, anything else? Thank <laughs> you.